Blessings falling on me. I got weapons, Nino on me. That like Tetris. You Hi, fairies. Welcome back to my channel. This time, I actually have some sort of a picture for y'all. I was thinking of doing two kinds of colors, like purple and pink. So the same thing goes for every single It's Giving video. I'm going to be showing you guys a color palette that I'm going to be going off of. Close no day in the town. I get rich, watch, then I get a sick watch. Watch me hit the top, I might make a tick tock. Left hand, right hand. Catch the latest trend, I might double up my network. I've been going up now, I see the top going down. If you didn't know now, I know you know now. That's cause she could go on top. This one is really good for um, gently cleansing the hair. If you use a regular shampoo, it's most likely gonna wash the color out. But if you use one that's good for colored hair, it won't. Um, like I said, I am using a 13 by 6 transparent chambray frontal. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Definitely make sure y'all wait until the end because I'm about to be serving y'all. This look, honey, this purple is giving me everything. I get fly, you be crutching on designer that ain't fly. And then lie, scoop the cat or something fast when I slide. Burning rubber, they gon' tax me for the tires. It's alright. On my lonely, I just start up that new iron and I ride. Hi fairies, welcome back to my channel. There's a few things that I wanna switch up. I want to redeposit color on this wig, and then like I said, I'm gonna either do navy blue or black or the other side. You not really tired, you keep saying tired. Well, I guess you let the top down. I've been going up now, see the top going down. If you didn't know now, I know you know now. That's cause she could go on top, you not really tired. You keep saying tired, well, I guess you let the top down. Today we are going to be working on lace stripes. I think the next thing I'm going to do this time around is go in between the actual hair. So I asked my Instagram followers what they think I should do to this side. I suggested that I wanted to do negative tiger stripes, meaning white tiger stripes on the navy blue side. I go in with this bleach, not even gonna pronounce that damn name. Hi fairies, welcome back to my channel, it's Therese Andrea. When I first saw Eric and Tay do this, I fell absolutely positively in love with this. So I was like, ooh, girl, I have to do that wig. But I do show you guys the colors that I did have to mix together and I did show those in the video. So now we're moving on to putting on the wig. You guys have seen me lay down my uh, wig so many times. I just went ahead and used a makeup wipe and then I also used some alcohol. I felt like, like I said, it's a slight difference from my wig and how Eric and Tay did his wig. I kind of wanted the purple to show a little bit more and I wanted the green, orange, and yellow to show a little bit more. Hi 
Hi fairies, welcome back to my channel, it's the Rachel Andrea. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get my infamous signature dark red slash burgundy hair color. This is the color that I'm starting with. I did go ahead off camera and use 30 Developer with the L'Oreal High Color in Magenta and Red, and it gave me this darker red kind of color. This is what the hair is looking like right now. The more product you guys use, the better the color will penetrate the hair and turn it into a beautiful, red color because we are starting off with a super dark base. the wig looks like on camera it is so vibrant and stark you guys it's amazing so I'm just gonna go ahead to apply my wig you guys have seen me apply this wig I don't know how many times I'm just gonna go ahead to bolt down my lace putting my elastic band on doing my little baby hairs and I'm also gonna be curling the hair on camera for you guys because you guys love to see that part of the video as well Hi fairies, welcome back to my channel, it's Raja Andrea. My hair, like I tell you guys, every single time I do a video on my blonde hair, it is extremely dense, it is extremely full. So the first color that I'm starting with is going to be Funky Yellow from Kiss Colors. And then on the left side, I decided to use their newer color in Neon Green. So I went ahead and let that wig sit overnight and I'm coming back with the wig about 85 to 90% dry. So I literally took two wigs that I loved that you guys loved and I just literally did them half and half because you guys know I am infamous for the half and half colored wigs. So please let me know how you guys like this video. I loved it. I can't wait to see you guys in my next one and bye guys. fairies welcome back it's me Loreja. so here is my color palette that I have for you guys I am going to be showing and holding up the actual color bottle as I go but yeah let's get sorted For this to be my first wig back, honestly, y'all, I have to say, hands down, clap, clap to myself. You know what I'm saying? Let me know down in the comment section down below how you guys feel about it. But nonetheless, thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for my next video. Bye, guys. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's LaRaja Andrea. The first color I'm starting with is a rose gold. I know it looks pretty like peachy pink on camera, but it is the perfect rose gold. Every single color that I mixed together had a slight pinch of orange in it. Welcome back to my channel, it's Larisha Andrea. So, we are going to be doing a remix version of the Nicki Minaj wig that I did on my channel about a week ago. So I decided to do black. Start by putting some conditioner on the rainbow side.
Okay, so moving on to doing the jet black version, I just went ahead and used a semi-permanent from Kiss Colors Jet Black and I put that on the lace. Then I like to take a permanent jet black dye from Dark and Lovely, put that all throughout the rest of the hair. I let the hair 80% dry and then as usual I will come back and do the blow drying style of the video. I just went ahead and put my wig on. I did notice that I finally figured out how to do a glueless wig because I literally just popped this wig on. Nicki Minaj reposted my wig on her Instagram. I almost fell out, you guys. Literally almost fell out. But yeah, let me know how you guys like the black and rainbow split dye. I felt like this came out so bomb. I wanna know if you guys like the red and rainbow or if you like the black and rainbow. Per usual, I love you guys so so much and can't wait to see you guys in my next one bye guys hi guys welcome back to my channel it's Laurie Andrea so I'm gonna be doing a wig today don't really know exactly what kind of colors I want to do the lead singer from Panamora had actually shipped these to me as far as like a PR package so listen I used to be a Panamora fan back in the day like back in high school middle school days so let's get right into it okay so I went ahead and started the red this is how the color is looking it's literally like the perfect red tone that you guys know I love The red is all in the back. One thing I want to say about these box dyes, I feel like it is the easiest process to applying on the hair. Hi guys, so this is my red fairy. I called her red fairy because if you guys did not know, I am not red fairy on Instagram anymore. My name is now Larissa Andrea. It came out so perfect, it came out so beautiful. I felt like the layers were just spot on. I felt like the way I curled it just made the wig just come to life, literally. So I'm just gonna do my install on camera since you guys love to see me do that. Hi fairies and welcome back to my channel, it's Larasia Andrea. So definitely shout out to Sally Beauty for sponsoring this video and I can't wait to do more videos with them. Ah! I decided that I wanted to go a color that you guys have been throwing in my comments for the past couple of videos and that is copper orange hair. And I also went ahead and put some copper red at the ends of the hair and I also did pick up a few other things you guys are going to be seeing in my later videos. So I just went ahead off camera and mixed up that copper color with that 40 developer. I recommend that you guys use the developer that they say on the box and just put that all in the beginning of my hair. I'm going to be using chambray hair per usual for this video. You guys know I pretty much only use chambray hair moving forward because I have super quality Indian hair, curly to straight to natural wave, anything you name it, your girl is going to be doing for a video, period.
this is the hair pretty much 70 to 80 percent dry you guys know that i don't like to blow dry my hair unless it's at least 80 percent dry and then i will go in with my hot tools blow dryer which is also from sally beauty to blow dry the rest of the hair and then we will move on to fixing the holes in this lace honey so this is the infamous hole i ended up doing about three big holes not on purpose you guys so the first thing you want to do is take some clear transparent thread and i'm just going to loop that through my wig cap once i put it through the wig cap i then moved on to putting it through the lace and then just closing up those holes like i said i had about three big holes in this lace and i just took my time going ahead double knotting my thread and just pulling that through just to close all of those holes this is pretty much the end of the result of me sewing my lace clothes and you guys can see whether i'm parting it sideways front ways horizontal vertical you guys do not see any holes present anymore Hey guys, so I am just showing you guys how the hair looks. The hair came out so beautiful. I did not expect for this L'Oreal to permanently color this hair like this so vibrantly. I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy that it ended up just doing one process of this dye because this took me so long to put this dye in this hair, y'all. You guys can see that I have no holes present. Everything is pretty much closed. And then I'm just gonna have to fit the wig on to make sure it fits pretty snug. The only thing I can say is because I did sew the lace a little bit smaller it did make the ends of the lace a little bit shorter for my head so most likely you're gonna have to just do a middle part and just call it a day So obsessed with this if you guys are too make sure you guys thumbs up this video because this video was so fun like i said i'm so happy to be back and thank you so much for watching you guys can't wait to see you guys in the next one bye guys hello fairies and welcome back to my channel it's me larasia so we are back with another hair color tutorial color scheme like i did in the other video we're mainly going to be concentrating on these four in the middle Alrighty guys, so my makeup is all done and honey, child, boo-boo stank, girl, this hair, this makeup, this final look is just giving me everything. So I'm going to be going in with my Got To Be Insta Hold Spray to install my wig today. And like I said before, I am using the chambray lace.
I am going ahead to take out these pin curls because they have been sitting in this wig for over 24 hours, maybe even 48 hours. It just was giving me everything when I combed it out. The navy in the back is just giving me that extra hint of mm, that I needed. The light front, the middle, uh, it is just everything. Let me know down in the comment section how you guys feel about this wig, if it's giving you the blues. And I will see you guys on Sunday. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey.